Hello friends, I'm Moon and this is my new setup. This is Hyperland with end 4 files, and believe me when I say this, forget every other desktop. This is the best. This is the king. It's a hood operating system. It is way more advanced, way more functional than Windows. And it is very very stable, very smooth, all the animations are great and it is designed with perfection. It is crafted with elegance. What matters to me is that this is the best and no one can see otherwise. So let's get right into the desktop shall we. Okay so this is the awesome setup of end 4 dot files on Hyperland. And I must say like this is the most awesome, well defined, well crafted just a perfect example of what Linux can do. Now let me just show you. These are the quick settings menu. Amazing. Like actually amazing. And when you open something, it is like more Android than Android in itself. It is the perfect example of potato design. As you can see, it is just awesome, isn't it? Take a look at this. Yep, it is awesome. And you have so many options. You can edit these toggles as well. Add a few of them if you want them. Like the key mode. There we go. Or easy effects. Or power profiles. Or not navigation. Or dark mode. And now, when I open them, I can easily cycle through multiple power profiles from here. We have game mode on and off. Show non navigations. And la dark and light mode. But I prefer dark. Then a whole calendar of things. To do's. You can easily add them directly here. Or, you know, timers. Not just that. If you scroll here, you can see the volume is increasing or decreasing based on my scroll. And when you do that at this side, just take a look at the animations. Yep, it is awesome, right? I can easily turn, increase or decrease my brightness. And same application is here as well. Then we have a system resources, media, and then the workspaces. And when you press the Windows button, you have the workspaces. You have the search functionality, Google Lens and recognize music and when you just press windows and hold it just take a look at the animation isn't it nice and it helps you to scroll through multiple workspaces like this so fast like take a look at this isn't it just awesome yep it it indeed is and then you have your time and there the functionalities for example this is your screenshot tool easy right then your theme buttons battery on screen keyboard way better than windows and now let me just show you even more it has its own game mode when you press windows g there you see you can easily pin across here like this and now it's gonna be there unpin you have your resources can you believe it it's like the perfect version of how windows game mode should have been yep and then your screen recording screenshot all the videos your input output mixers well right now i don't have any output because, you know, my I've not connected my headphones yet. And then you have all the other stuff like Mango HD FPS. Really awesome. Then a floating image if you want. It is nice. Then your quick notes. Isn't it just awesome? Like the perfect thing. And you don't have to learn all of that or, you know. You can easily learn these keyboard shortcuts by pressing Windows slash. This is the cheat sheet of all the shortcut keys you have and you can easily edit them. Just control windows like you know as you can see here. Control windows alt slash as it has been written here. And uh, it's going to open key bindings as you can see. Right. Awesome right. And we can learn all these things from here as well. Like our emoji. You can easily search for emoji for example diamond. There it is diamond. And if I were on a document it would paste it. Isn't it just awesome? And take a look at this. We have so many, well, like, we can easily make it look like Windows, like this, you know? Could you be Can you believe it? It is Windows. Like, it is obviously equal to Windows, but way better. <laughs> no one can tell the difference properly that it is not Windows, it's actually Linux. And it all works through, well, a shortcut. There we go. You can easily do these. And you can install more themes or icon packs or stuff easily. As it is Linux, you have all the customization freedom you want. Or let's say this. You can, you know, go full screen or not using this. It is made with perfection, isn't it? Just perfection. Let me just show you the screenshot tool. This is the screenshot tool. 
and check out the icons, the animations, how it's made. Isn't it just phenomenal? And not just that, it's not all about the desktop. It's the tiny little details everywhere. Like, we have this terminal and check how this works. So do pacman slash blc enter. Let's see, I don't want to install it. Well, nothing. Then let's say I want to install, well, cd dash enter control l and then let's say i want to go for neo fetch oh sorry neo fetch like just take a look at the cursor okay b fetch there we go just like that and then let's say i want to install sudo pacman dash syy enter it's going it's working so phenomenally and just take a look at these pills these icons and everything and not just that let me just show you something else we have AI built in. You have artificial intelligence. You can easily install any of it you want without any problem. You can easily grab your API key, install it like this. As you can see here, you can change your model to Gemini, GB5, or any of that which you have the availability of. Or you can easily go to Google AI Studios and get your API key for free. Isn't it just awesome? And this is one of the reasons I'm in love with this doc, you know, like the setup, these dot files. I can easily reload Hyperland and quick shell like this. There we go. Check, just check these animations out. And the way these are organized, like, isn't it awesome? Let me just try connecting my Bluetooth device. There we go. It is listed there. I can easily connect to it. Let's say there's a Wi-Fi and I need to connect. I can easily, like, it is just so functional, isn't it? And let me just show you the welcome app. Windows Shift Alt, there you go. This is the welcome app where you can, you know, change a few stuff, for example, your language, and then the top bar, let's say I want it on the left, bottom, right, well, I prefer top bar, then the bar style, let's say I want it floating, now, nah. or react, like, just like this, or a hug, like this, well, I prefer the hug, to be honest, floating is nice, to be honest, better, if you ask me, yep, maybe, maybe not, yep, Maybe, maybe not. It just works phenomenally. Well, I'm gonna stick to floating, okay? Then you can change your wallpapers. Are you a weep? Well, I'm not, sorry. We have AI. You can easily install local AIs and use them however you want. Isn't it just awesome, right? And then for file manager, well, let me just show you. I have, what do I have? I have Nautilus. Now, for the software menu, I've installed GNOME softwares. There we go. While pulling something, it wasn't able to do that properly. Well, let me just install a browser. Obviously, it's going to be Chrome. Proper spelling. There we go. Install. And the installation has begun. Like, juggling through applications, it is, it's just so smooth, isn't it? Just take a look at this. And the wallpaper and the clock also rotates with them. Just like that. And the ascent color, which you see everywhere in the pill, is determined by the major color and minor colors of your wallpaper. So, use any wallpaper and you will never have to worry about anything. There we go. Installed. Now, let me just search for Chrome. Alright, let me just restart it. Reload it. There we go. Chrome. Open. Nope. Yes. Let me just shift this to maybe here. Now, let me just sign in. And now, let me just show you how you can install this setup. So, just search for n4.files hyperland. There you go. And here we are, the end for doc hot files. Now, I'm going to have to tell you a few things in order to, you know, to make sense and let help you in order to install this. So, you're going to need a fresh install of Arch Linux. Just install the native Arch Linux from the official website, the latest version. Install it on, like, use the desktop mode and install the Hyperland version of Arch Linux. You can easily find that on Arch install. And after the installation, just come here, come to this website, go to installation, and all you need to run is just this one command, and that's it. Your whole customization, setup, operating system for sort will be properly set up and installed right away. Yeah, it is going to take some time because of installation and download process, but it will be hands-free. You only need to enter your password a few times, that's it. Yep, and with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and if you like this customization or not. And I'm gonna meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Oom signing out.